In this video for Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition Modeling HVAC Systems, we'll look at how we can set throw patterns for our air terminals. And I'm in my model here. I've got some air terminals placed. I'll get zoomed in over here. Got my display style set to modeling transparent references. And I'll rotate my view a little bit. We can see my supply diffusers and return grill here. If I double click on this supply diffuser, that will put me into the modify properties for this particular component. So I notice that my ribbon interface has changed to show me modification options. View 8 opens up for the mechanical discipline. This is our heads up view. If I click on these dimensions in here, I could actually edit the dimensional aspects right here. But another thing that this does is I've got this little check mark turned on. Notice that it says display property panel. If I turn that off, notice how the property panel doesn't show me the parameters for this particular air terminal catalog item. So I'll check that back on. So you see how it shows me this over here now. Because I want to change really a setting in here for the throw pattern. So notice our options for throw pattern here. I can just make it blank. We've got one way, two way, two way corner, three way, and four way. And I'll choose the three way throw pattern. And this pattern spacing has to do with the pattern itself on the terminal. I'll set this to 0 0.01. And notice how that shows me the throw pattern now on that terminal. So I could come out and simply right click now to finish that edit. My heads up view is still there, but I'll go ahead and close it. And I'll just left click out in space. And then again, you can see that air terminal and the throw pattern there. Now, maybe I need that throw pattern to be not going in that direction. So I, I can always rotate the air terminals. I'll hover over it with my element selection tool. Do a right press on my mouse and choose the rotate menu. And I'll say rotate 90 degrees. And the prompt is asking me for to enter the pivot point. I can just snap to the center here of the connection. You notice how my pattern is now off in this direction. So I'll change some of these air terminals here. Again, I can uh, double click, puts me into modify properties, change the pattern spacing. Again, you can see it there. I'll go ahead and rotate this one also. While I've still got it selected there, right press, select rotate. My rotate settings are still the same. I'll select the center there. Now I can do multiple if I need to. So if I select both of these, for example, I can right press and say modify instance data. And then that will put me in the modify properties tool. But I'm modifying both of these at the same time now. Notice how my heads up view did not open up that time. So again, we're changing this to three way and changing our pattern spacing. and a left click to accept that. And then I'll click out in space here to release the element selection set. And again, I can see the throw patterns there. And if I needed to rotate those, I could rotate them. Now I wanted to show how this would look on a drawing. So I'm just gonna do really a test drawing from right out of my model here. So I'll come up to the drawing production tab in the ribbon interface. Move my view three notices in a front orientation here and just moved it over a little bit there. And I'll just select the plan option for the drawing seed. I'll choose mechanical HVAC, mechanical plan. I have create drawing turned on. Again, really just a test drawing here to show how these will look on a drawing. I'll choose my couple of points here and then my 
direction, left click to accept it. Again, just doing a test here. So I'll turn off this create sheet model. I'll leave the create drawing model and I'll have this process just make it right in this active file. So I'll just click OK here. Notice that open model is turned on. So it will open that drawing model, which again, I'm creating right in this file. So I see there are my air terminals. If I come down and look, then you can see the throw patterns, how that terminal will look on my HVAC plans there. Notice in the drawing here, I'm seeing those terminals I placed in that mezzanine area. I don't see the other terminals that were placed in a previous video. If I go back into my design model, and I'll maximize view three here. There's the plan symbol. Notice this is the distance that I defined to define the depth of the plan here. If I move this down and simply navigate back to the drawing that I created, I'll use my marker there. Now you can see those other terminals that are in the bottom floor down there. And I'll just return to my default model here. With my models dialog box. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.